So hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So in today's tutorial video, I wanted to show you how to rearrange your windows that you have open within your windows environment and how to snap them to the side or to the tops of your screen uh, so you can use them more productively when you are working within the windows environment. Now, traditionally, if you're used to snapping to an area, you might be left clicking on the mouse and then holding on the left click and dragging it across to an area of the screen you want the windows to snap to like you've just seen there where it snapped the file explorer to the left hand side and then what windows does it then opens this sort of task selector on the right hand side and says would you like another window to snap to the right hand side and let's say i want this word document here i would click on that and now we've got two um, windows programs open within equal distance so I can work on one or the other and I can also drag them around as well if I wanted to but it's a handy and quick way to rearrange windows this video is about using your keyboard to do something similar but also being able to resize incidentally if you want to uh, bring the window back to the original size you just push the maximize button twice and then it resizes it back to the original size and position it was in so before we get into the keyboard commands, we just need to check the settings and make sure that the Windows um, Snaps is set to on. So go into your settings menu and then go down to where it says multitasking. Click on that one there and then right at the top you will see Snap Windows. That should be already set to on. It is as default, but if it has been turned off for some reason, then just make sure it is turned on. And then we can get rid of the settings menu. Uh, which I'm going to just touch on a bit later just for an extra bonus at the end of the video. Okay, so we've got these two windows open. I've got two File Explorer windows open. So what I want to do is uh, use my keyboard commands to resize the windows. So I'm going to hold down the Windows key with my left hand and then use the arrow keys with my right hand to resize the windows. What you also need to make sure that you do is make sure that you have the window that you want to resize selected. So you can either click on that uh, particular program or window that's open with your mouse or so left click just once to highlight it for example if I wanted the one on the right I'd left click on that one or if I wanted the one on the left I will click on that I can also use my task switcher if I've got multiple programs open and to use if you're not used to using task switcher you use alt and tab so you hold the alt key down with your thumb and then just tab across with your top finger so as I want to scroll through the different programs that uh, I have open within Windows environment I'll just alt and then tab across uh, and this is handy if you just want to open one full screen as well uh, it is a quite a common and well used uh, shortcut on the keyboard so alt and tab allows you to select the window as well if you want to use purely all the keyboard commands and I can also use the arrow keys to uh, go around within das uh, the uh, task switcher so once you've got the window selected that you want to resize, we're now going to hold our left hand or the Windows key down um, with the left finger and then position and move the window around using the arrow keys. So as I push left, it goes to the left, push up, it goes to the top left, push right, it goes over to the right hand side, push down once, it'll make it full right hand side. Left again, we'll put it back to original position and then snap to the left if I push it again like so. You get the picture, you can move it around your screen equally and automatically resized to the set half size or quarter size to the screen. Once you let go of the Windows key, you then get the option and Windows says, um, OK, you've let go of the key. Would you like to snap something else to the right hand side considering you've got this one already snapped half? I might want this Word document, for example push on the enter on the keyboard and then that makes the whichever window you've got selected uh, fill the other half of the screen. Also, incidentally, if you want to resize the window, just push maximize twice and that will resize the window back to the original size it was. That's another handy little tip. So we might want to do these in quarter sizes. So it works obviously like you've just seen. So if I want to make this a quarter size, I will again put my finger on the Windows key. Make sure I've got the window I want to resize first selected. Um, maybe I want to alt and tab and use that particular way. If I've got, not got the mouse handy, I might want to alt and tab to the uh, window I want to resize. But make sure it's selected. Hold down the Windows key. I'm going to go left once and then up once, puts it into the top left hand corner. And because I put it in quarter view and let go of the Windows key, it's now saying, OK, what do you want to snap into the top right? I select what I want, push enter. 
the bottom left, I might want to put my web browser. So I'd select that and then push enter in there. And then it says, okay, the last one that's left is this bottom right. What would you like to put in there? Again, I'll scroll, scroll through my open programs, find the one that I want. And let's say it's the word doc again, pick that one, push enter. And then that will put it into this quarter view with the four different windows showing equally. So that's all very good, but let's say that you want to see a bigger view of a particular window that you've got split into a quarter. So what we need to do here is pick the window that we want to resize. So let's say it's this web browser here. We want to make that bigger. I would select it, push the Windows key, push up twice, and then that would make it full screen. I'd look at what I need to do, and then maybe I want to get it back to quarter view. So again, I would push the Windows key, push left, and then down once, and that would put it into the bottom left-hand corner. And the other thing that I wanted to show you is something that we need to set within the settings menu. So this is a way for, to clear the screen. So we open settings up, um, go to the home page in settings and go down to where it says multitasking again, where we was in before. Click on there and you'll notice right at the bottom there, we've got taskbar windows shake. Now it's by default, it's switched off. So let's switch it on and I'll show you what uh, this does. So switch it on here and then we can minimize the settings menu like so. And then we grab a window that we want to concentrate on. So let's say it's this file explorer window that we want only open on windows. So we left click on the mouse, drag it to the center or anywhere and give it a good shake with the mouse. So depending on how much you shake it will depend on how quickly it works. If you shake it quite violently or quick, you know, big strokes, it will shake all the windows down. And that works with any of the windows um, that you've got open. So if you grab uh, the web browser and shook it, it would minimize all the other windows around it. And the bonus tip that I wanted to show you guys is for the Windows 11 users only. So this is to do with resizing your windows in exactly the same way that we've just been doing uh, using the keyboard. Uh, but this is using your mouse, but within the uh, menus and your maximize, minimize and close window. So if you've updated to Windows 11, you have the ability to on the top here where you've got the close, you've got your minimize, but you've also got this maximize, which we traditionally would use to uh, maximize a window like so. But if you hover your mouse over and just leave it and don't click, you then get this secondary menu that pops up. And then from here, I can hover down and then just pick how I want to resize my window. So let's say I want this uh, third view here, and I want this particular window to show a third on the right hand side. I would hover over, move my mouse down, left click, that takes that window to there. And then it says, okay, what would you like to show on the left hand side of the two thirds view? And maybe I want my web browser. I can then obviously drag my windows here. Now that is part of the system that's always worked. So you've always been able to do that. However, if you've not been able to do this resize via the maximize button. If I want to do a quarter again, I would hover over it and then I would pick the maybe top left hand corner and it'll bring up over the, uh, the other windows and say, what do you want to put in the other quarters? So if I click that and then maybe I want my word doc in the top right and then a file explorer in bottom left and then maybe another file explorer in the bottom right very quick and easy to use this um this now uh, maximize button that's been made to resize windows as well and that's purely for the windows 11 users okay so that is it that's the end of the tutorial on how to resize your windows uh, within the windows in environment i hope you enjoyed the video if it was helpful please do hit me with any comments below they are always appreciated please do hit the like button if it has been helpful in any way. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Computer Lab on YouTube.